until season 3, episode 23 of My Hero Academia, I never liked Bakugo. But Bakugo is angry, aggressive, and in his younger days, he was a mean kid. I didn't understand his constant anger and aggression towards Midoriya. The constant bullying, always boasting the fact that he had a quirk and Midoriya didn't, and even bullying him for that very same reason. And when Midoriya finally received a quirk, Bakugo became overly competitive and jealous of the one-for-all user. It seemed out of place. As Midoriya started getting stronger and more accustomed to his abilities, Bakugo got angrier and more aggressive towards him. To the point where Midoriya knew that he could not even save him because of his ego when he was captured by the League of Villains. It wasn't until the 23rd episode of the third season that Bakugo's true feelings were finally set out for everyone to understand and they were let out in the most Bakugo way possible. Through his fists, through yelling, and through fighting. And what an emotional outburst it was. Unlike Deku, he has trouble communicating his feelings. Midoriya communicates often through his tears and is able to come to terms with his own thoughts and feelings. And he is able to let other people know what he is feeling. In short, he talks a lot. Bakugo, however, never truly stated or showed what his motivations were, and more importantly, why they were his motivations and feelings. He then tells us the state that he's in. Bakugo feels a lot of different things. He feels guilty that All Might can no longer fight, as he was the one who was kidnapped and forced All Might to fight all for one. A guilt that he has been forced to carry alone, and he later forces Midoriya to carry this burden with him as Bakugo feels that Midoriya is the only person who can understand what he is feeling. Bakugo had an inflated ego. From all the praise he received from those around him when he was younger, Bakugo was the prodigy, the perfect kid, the strongest kid, who was expected to do great things. Even comparing his quirk to his parents, who had significantly weaker quirks, then created Bakugo, whose explosion quirk was the perfect blend of the two. But over time, the other kids started to catch up. And Midoriya, having just received All Might's quirk, his strength grew exponentially. The spotlight had moved from Bakugo to Midoriya and even Todoroki. As All Might stated, this created an inferiority complex in young Bakugo. As he hailed All Might as his favorite hero, he watched the number one hero that he admired create a relationship with the one person he despised instead of himself. And with that relationship, Midoriya became stronger and stronger, leaving Bakugo behind, causing him to feel inferior. Bakugo wanted that special relationship with All Might. And this is shown in further detail, when All Might tells the world, Now, it's your turn. After defeating All for One, Bakugo instead watches Midoriya's reaction as the words caused him to react a different way than anyone else. Bakugo felt hurt at the fact that All Might recognized Midoriya's heart over his strength. Bakugo believed that strength would get him all the attention and recognition from those he wanted it from. And he believed strength was the only way to become the number one hero. But strength is nothing without a heart to match when it comes to being a hero. Bakugo's breakdown took me by surprise, but it was my hero giving Bakugo some character development and a reason for the viewers to understand why Bakugo acted the way he did and where his anger is rooted from. An internalized fear of being left behind, while feeling inferior to the one individual he was always superior to. To add, the voice acting for Bakugo's character was incredible. The voice cracks, the emotion that the actor carried throughout Bakugo just added on to the inner frustrations of the young hero, which made the episode that much more memorable and believable. It is in this episode that we understand that Bakugo and Midoriya are two sides of the same coin, the coin being All Might. The two of them represent what it takes to become the number one hero, but more importantly, what it takes to become the next symbol of peace. And this is illustrated as both heroes walk on two separate sides of the center line, with All Might in the middle. Bakugo as All Might's strength and victory, Midoriya as All Might's heart and his sense of justice. 
Without Bakugo's sense of victory and strength, the civilians cannot find true comfort in All Might's protection, nor can he become their number one hero. And without Deku's heart, he cannot become the symbol of peace. He would not be motivated to become greater than just a hero. Now, as Bakugo has finally become vulnerable, he has laid all his emotion and his feelings out, and he can now gear his focus towards becoming the number one hero. It makes you remember that Bakugo is still a young hero. Beneath the anger, he too has feelings and emotions that he struggles to take care of. Until this episode, Bakugo was never grounded. He was just looked at as that angry kid. But his outburst gives him reason and tries to gain the sympathy of the viewer to finally understand why Bakugo acts the way he does. The fact that he was almost brought to tears and then keeping his tough guy persona when All Might tries to show him some affection. This episode was well written and will resonate with me because it is that episode that I finally sympathized with Bakugo. Ha <laughs> ha!